Hi guys, <clears throat> ladies and gents, <clears throat> Troopa Loops. Okay, real quick, I just finished all of you. They're struggling to talk, whether it's you or them, okay? I'm like getting choked up in every video. Um, every single video for fire, something is being exposed, okay? It, and it's coming in on where what you don't see coming, okay? So it's, it's a very unjustified situation. It's karmic, okay? And there's a lot of people involved. I don't know if there's a destined scenario there. It does look like there's a destined scenario there, but someone needs to wrap up karma. And the way they're honestly going about it is incredibly insensitive and disrespectful and shitty, okay? Um... Let me just shut the door. <clears throat> and again, it's like they're not talking. They're not telling you. <laughs> Hi, Sheldon. You are filthy. Um, they're not telling you. They're not talking. Um, and it's it's going to come out. Um, and I don't know. <laughs> cute little boy. Y'all want to see Sheldon? Let me cheer you up real quick. Look at my little buddy. He's filthy. But they have. Hi, we all need a little cheer up, huh? So, um, I, I just wanted to come on and, and touch base. And, you know, karmic or not, it's it just, it's straight up shitty, okay? Um, it's sad, you know? Someone is, <sighs> click photo booth to resume. What? I hope that it looks like it was still a quarter. Um, I'm just gonna leave it be, and if it's not meant to post, so be it. Um, let me take a sip. It's sad because um, people are getting hurt. Even if you're the karmic, it still fucking hurts. We've all been through karmic relationships. We've all been there, okay? It was so clear in Aries. It was just disturbing and it was bullshit that somebody thought they could get away with X, Y, Z, but really wanting to go towards something else, but wanting their cake and eating it too, but really knowing their happiness, happiness lies with someone else, but still having a hard time, you know, clearing karma. And then in Leo, it was just like, It's just unjustified. It's being kept from them, okay? The moon was there. And then in the position of what you don't see coming was the Seven of Swords reversed. We all know those are lies exposed. And you have a masculine, whether there's a marriage involved or not, that found love elsewhere. And it and it possibly for some could be a destined scenario if you guys know you're in a situation like this. But the way... It's going about it is is bullshit, okay? So I'm telling you right now, like, if you go to watch Sag, I don't know if you're the third person, you know? Um, there's something, no matter what zodiac you are, the fire is pushing, okay? Um, the situation. And with Sag, it's like, take care of you. Because even when this energy comes back around, it, are they coming out of boredom? You know what I mean? Are they coming because they think they lost you? You know, because this is somebody who really wanted to keep their options open and, and telling two people, I don't want to be in a relationship. And it, it's, it's like, <sighs> you all know your story and it's going to differ, right? But um, it's just, it's tough. This week is tough. So I, I can't stress enough for you to take care of you. Guys, and it's Mercury, Okay. I literally just had my catalyst hit me up out of the blue. And it's like, I don't even know how to respond to that either. You know, like, I'm not mad at him. Don't hold a grudge. But do you know how much pain I went through with that karmic situation? Not like I would hold a grudge or be like, D -d -d I can't believe you're doing this. Or, D -d -d -d. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a friendly person. So it's, it's not it's not a big deal like that. But that's, that's like Mercury all damn day. And I, I just, and he's not even a fire sign. Okay. But that just goes to show that when I say your past is coming back in, you truly don't know who it is, okay? Some of you, yes, this is your scenario, 
others of you, you're still in this scenario and you still got someone from the past coming back. Don't don't keep your options open because you're bored. Don't go backwards because you're bored. And for my karmics, it is so incredibly hard to get out of those situations. But your soul knows better. Okay? You want that person. You have to make moves to get that person. You can't stay in a situation that's going nowhere. You literally, this whole fire element for this week, literally, is like... Someone's keeping something from you and it's about to be exposed and it's not going to go good. You got people that are bullshit and you got others that are hurt, you know. Um, and if there was a marriage, the person that's going about trying to start to really live their life, maybe they think they're going about it right. But the cards are saying way different. There's a lesson here and it's like that energy is not picking up on it and they're lying and they're doing it to protect the other person so the other person doesn't get hurt, but it's it's actually even hurting the other person. So it, it's like this person is not realizing what they're doing and if they do, they're about to. So I'm telling you, no matter if you're destined or you're a karmic, you have to just take care of you, worry about you, focus on you, don't entertain bullshit. Don't entertain lies. Don't get swept into something that's a lie. Because right now, something is being kept from someone or everyone. Okay? And if this person that's doing the, the secrets and the lies and not saying something to someone else, they're going to get caught up because it's their lesson. So even if they lost everybody, they, they still have to expose something. It is, it's part of their journey. It's part of their lesson, you know, to go after what their soul wants and not worry about how somebody else is going to feel about a situation. You have women keeping stuff from other people. You got men keeping other stuff from other people. In one read, you had one woman blocking this woman. It's, it's just like enough, okay? Take care of you. Um, and, you know, for those who are not dealing with this somehow you're in it this could be something that's going to come around from years ago that just came around from four years ago you know so for those who are not okay we'll see now something's being exposed i was going to say for those who are not in this scenario but let me just do the read because in all reality They'd probably tell me the same stuff. So this is for every single fire element or, or anyone that's watching, that's dealing, okay? Yeah, see, it's like somebody wanting to keep their door open, not not strategizing, um, not not strategizing, trying to strategize how to, how to get this, how to get that, how he or she is feeling. This is somebody who's just looking at photos, um, whatever they are, you know, the devil reversed. Um, this energy wants a second chance, with something all right but not saying anything you're dealing with an energy that a masculine energy here that's extremely detached the king of swords reverse is someone who's not even talking and it's somebody who is very detached okay they're they're gonna have no choice but to be in their emotions because i guarantee this was somebody battling their emotions so it's almost like yeah here you go you know judgment so forgiveness second chance or or making your own judgment call or not worrying about somebody else you know what you don't see coming okay seven of pence with the hermit somebody really needs to go within like i said they have to go within they're stressing out. This can't even be good with their health. They have to go within. Where to invest? Where do I not invest? And it looks like your back is turned. So it's basically telling me what you are investing in is is not good for your soul. Possible outcome. You got the lovers reverse. See, this is somebody making a decision to want to go in a certain direction. Okay, with the magician. They want to man manifest something new, but it's they're juggling. Okay, there's a situation that still needs to heal, needs to wrap up. It's it's just 
it is what it is, okay? Um, current past. But we don't need, I was going to say, we don't really need a current past, but there you go. Bottom. That just came in on Sag. You know, somebody's too focused on the past to realize there's there's love. Or to take care of themselves. You know, someone's bent out of shape, something didn't go in their direction. Or this is somebody who's afraid of rejection. Tell me about the four of cups. Yeah, no, see, so this is a, a family scenario. It's like somebody wanted somebody back or wanted to keep the damn door open, like I said. And somebody wanted to go in a new direction and, and they're just getting blocked, okay? And it could be your own damn blockage. But it's like back and forth, back and forth to a one-sided love. One-sided love. Where's your self-worth? Because this Ten of Cups, tell me about this Ten of Cups. That's, that's done. Yeah, see? Competition, done. Dead. Empress, done. See what I'm saying? But yet, they still keep going back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. All right? Tell me about this moon real quick. So I, I really wanted to give you a different reading. Um... But, you know, it is what it is. This is just the element right now. And, and this is karma. All right. And again, not moving forward. Not having the confidence to speak up. It, it's, it's so karmic. You know, and this could also be saying somebody can't move forward because they're in a relationship. They're not single. Or they just don't have lack to move forward. But it's, it's like over... Okay, so I don't know if someone's going to try to pull the whole emotions over on you. Tell me about how he or she is feeling, because this is somebody who's trying to strategize right now. Yeah, see, and again, too many women, men, it goes the same way. You know, this person wants to come in and talk. They want the one who cut them off, the one that's cold right now, the the one that's in mental. They're not putting effort into the one that's emotional, and it's like not even looking, you know. Um, it, it's these were the same two women that came in in the Aries read. Yeah, see, like someone sees a future elsewhere. There's a spark elsewhere, but something needs to be exposed. Right now, it's blocked until something is exposed. So the way it's going down, it sucks because this person wants to manifest something with someone else, but is, is hanging on to someone else or letting the other person hang on to them, lying to them. Okay, so what you don't see coming... So this is somebody who's no longer going to put in the work, okay? And it's going to follow their soul. And it looks like the emperor, again, you could be dealing with an Aries. See what I'm saying? So it's like slowly moving forward and making the right moves. But I'm telling you, if, if you're part of any of this, this is not the week. To let somebody else clear up their own comic shit, okay? Um... And the outcome is somebody's making a choice. They they want to manifest something new with somebody else, and they're pretty upset. You know, it's like they saw something, but they weren't giving any clarity. They were carrying somebody else's weight or their own weight, okay? Um, tell me about this Knight of Pants. <clears throat> yeah, see, very unhappy with the situation, but yet doing nothing, letting other people fight over them. It It's just, it's a lot, okay? Your best advice, if you're a cross watcher and you're in this situation, and I, I don't want to put the blame on anybody, okay? Even if there's lies and deception, I mean, everyone learns their own way. Everyone goes through a karmic situation. But I'm telling you right now, a lot of people are, 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 are hurt because of games and manipulation and wanting to keep doors open. And it there was an ending no matter what. Especially if it was a marriage. It's just like, no. And and it's like this one could have just kept coming. They just went back and forth out of boredom and contentment. And it's just in competition. 
Someone didn't want to be left out of a scenario. You know, somebody is fully aware that there's another lover. They're just waiting for that one to tell them that that's actually what's happening. Nobody's stupid here. But people want to play stupid. If you want to play stupid and be stuck on stupid, go be stuck on stupid with someone else. Okay. So this is a scenario where this is somebody who's going to stop investing in one thing. Okay. And go within and figure out what they really want. They are going to make a decision. You know, but still struggling. They, but they're not struggling. They do want this. Okay. It, it's just karmic. That's it. Okay. You want your dream? Go after it. Focus on you right now. Okay. Signs. You're looking for signs? Go. Purge. You know. It, it's like, you know. You know, you, you, this is somebody who hasn't been following their intuition. Dark night of the soul. See, this person got to the point where they have no choice now. Where it's like, they, they got to feel it. You know. It, it, they didn't they didn't clean up their own shit you know they 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 should have followed their intuition they saw the sign and and now it's like you have to purge you have to this is somebody who doesn't want to face themselves in the mirror doesn't want to accept what's happening doesn't want to let go of one situation out of comfort or safety or worried about how somebody else is going to judge them it, it's just it's a whole lot the more the story is everybody just needs to adult and move forward there's there's no need for all this trauma if you're part of this take yourself out of it don't be in denial thinking someone is just going to learn a lesson overnight and come back to you and it, it's just going to be great okay because it, it's not there's a lot of stuff that needs to be wrapped up and, and douched out okay and it, and it sucks because I don't feel like it, there was any ill intent on how something went down per se, guys. But the thing is, you got a masculine or a feminine. The depiction on the cards is telling me there's a masculine, again, or feminine, that has been keeping something from somebody they had a marriage with or who, who was before the other one. I don't fucking know. All I know is that it's a shitty scenario for everyone. Okay? And it's pain for everyone. And if the masculine's not feeling yet, the universe is going to make sure they do. Okay? Um, but don't go after something out of boredom. Like here, with the past. Like you were just going back and forth between somebody you were married to or have kids with. Or they were going just back and forth between you because there was competition. There's no, there's no mutual love. It's reversed. You know? It looks like a family dynamic, but the, it was over. But there was competition. So again, it was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know? And now somebody's all up in their emotions. Karmic situation. Something's not going in their favor with this justice card. Like, it's it's, it's karmic. It's, it's a no-go. Okay? Yeah, see, so doesn't even want to talk about it. It's six of wands reverse. It's not victorious. It's not a win. You don't win. You're not triumphant. I don't know what you were doing. But it's a no-go. And now you have energy. It's all stressed out because it's over. Why? Because you didn't take an opportunity when you had it. You didn't put the effort in because you were too busy trying to have your cake and eat it too. All right? But here, again, it does look a little better. Okay? It does realize, okay, I'm going to stop investing in a certain situation. You know? Um, and you really are going to go within whether you see it right now or not. Somebody will go within. A decision is being made. You know? Um very unhappy with themselves, you know, it's it's catching up to them. And that's a good thing. We all have to learn our own way, right? So just be careful right now as I'm saying like this week because it's like this energy wants to come back in and it's like keep your sword up. And I hate to say it and, and give my type of opinion like that, but I'm a, I'm a reader. I've been doing this for a very long time. This is somebody who thought they could just... I don't know if it's not like prove you wrong, but in a way I think they were like better than you or smarter than you. I don't know how to explain the vibe I'm feeling, but it's it's like, I don't know who they thought that they, they were messing with, but they, they messed with the wrong chick, all right? So it's like this week, whether it's meant to be or not, your sword needs to remain up, okay? Because right now, there's still a situation going on, 
it's it's still here it needs to be exposed and it hasn't happened yet it's about to and then I think you're gonna have to make a choice but not even wanting to make a choice whoever the other person is yeah see right now it's yeah yeah see right now you're not having it you know there's there's no spark there was arguments five of swords in reverse you're not even arguing or entertaining it there's there's no passion there's no desire to even be entangled in that there's secrets there's lies there's blockages there's obstacles and you walked away you're worried about yourself right now again if it's meant to be it, it will be in 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 time where somebody can put effort in and 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 do what's best for their soul because this person needs to do that in the sad read it was like the feminine energy that kind of needed to do that worry about you right now because this person is just having to face this they've been facing it but they're not truly facing it does that make sense so again why is it going to be exposed this week i don't know who they're coming from heard it through the grapevine or if it's somebody owning the, their own truth but i will tell you it's this person's lesson to to do something the right way okay and it, it's just you want that happiness that inner peace like that you know what i mean like you gotta let something go it, it's just it's it's not worth it you know it, it's everyone's getting hurt this is somebody who doesn't want to clear up their own calm. I wanted somebody else to hold their hands or be there, but yet not wanting to be completely honest with somebody else either. Okay. You're being shady. Yeah, see? Watch out. Shit could get ugly. Because it, it's not quite being exposed yet. Okay. Get the fuck outside and move. All right. That was stop fucking whining that I meant to take and I kept going. All right. Be grateful for what you have. All right, put the phone down. All right, stop being shady. Watch out. It can get ugly. All right, your body's your body needs more movement. Get outside. Be grateful. Shit could be a lot worse. Put the phone down. Too much screen time at work. It's, it's awkward and sad. Go talk to somebody in person instead of just thinking about what to do next. You know? Um, I posted a quote today, and, it, and it's true. It's... um. It's like, yeah, you're giving away, you're giving away your power, you know. So it, it's like you're you're letting somebody stay in the picture that shouldn't even be in the picture. Okay, so again, um, it's up to you on what you decide to do and how you want to give. All right, you got love. All right, get some, love some, give it. It would cheer you up. So you probably have a situation where there, there's love, but it's not right now. All right? It's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out of your ass pronto. It, it just, it's like self-wallowing, you know? And it's like there is shady shit. And it's like you're not even grateful for what you have in front of you. Yeah, detox. Drink a smoothie or unfriend that asshole. Okay? Or, or throw something away. It, it's, you, you really are giving away your power. Everyone goes through some shit. It's your turn. Handle it. You know? Clean up your own shit. For those who are going through this, I understand it is tough. But it's life. And life goes on. Um, this is what I posted. Overthinking will not just kill you. Overthinking will not just kill your mind, but it will also kill your heart, your soul, your mood, your magic, and your love. So... I don't know why it's coming in like that. Um, because this is what's going on. There's just stalling. How do I tell her? How do I tell her? How do I tell her? How do I tell him? How do I tell him? How do I tell him? It's like, what are you doing? You already know what you want. And honestly, there was a, a massive lesson here. You might have lost everybody and it was just your lesson. Whether you thought it was meant to be or not. Shit's not meant to go down with lies and deception and deceit. Not when you hurt other people.
You know, everyone's like, when it's meant, if it's meant to be, it will be. Yeah, it takes two people. And there's free will. And there's also consequences to free will. And the choices you make. Because judgment's been coming in for months. This isn't like, oh, I need to make a decision. Should have made a decision six months ago, two months ago, two years ago. It's, it's comic. Be happy. Be with the right person. You will get past this. We all do. Right now, please take care of you. And go watch your other zodiacs. Okay. Um, and again, everyone who's going through this scenario right now, dealing with a fire sign, or you are fire because, you know, everyone has fire within their chart and you don't all know your placements. Okay. And uh, it, it, it sucks for everybody right now because you got... You got put into the ring of fire, and and someone's been slacking on cleaning up their own karma, and you're you're just done, you know. Um, and it's like somebody had the opportunity to do something right, probably multiple times. So, just let shit crash and burn. If it's meant to come back around. It will. Doesn't mean it's it's meant for you to to jump at it. All right, could be a lesson here for you too. So, I love you. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Bye, guys.